this is the finished um, gingerbread house. We tried to make it look like it had snow falling off the roof and it kind of just looks like... <laughs> it looks okay, doesn't it? But the caramel, basically, me and Laura went a bit far and... Yeah. Sam's currently looking at Christmas decorations and like tableware and stuff because we need new cutlery and bits. So he's just looking that and, like, up. And like a gravy jug because we don't have that. We don't, have we don't actually, do no, we? No, little things like that and like serveware so we can put the food on, on the table. Yeah, because hosting Christmas means you've got to buy lots of Christmassy stuff. Christmas mugs? <laughs> but yeah this is the um gingerbread house so the idea was there it just hasn't quite been executed but we're gonna buy some like little bits and pieces that we can stick onto it like sweets and stuff and also i think we might get like the silver sorry the lighting's getting really funny the silver like glitter that you put on the edible glitter because i think that might look quite cute but yeah festive and also this is from h&m i'll leave all random links to table stuff and prints and all that that you might like and then this we're going to try and put in the upstairs bedroom it's the christmas tree we had last year but i don't know if it's going to fit yet so it might be a smaller one but if it fits and it looks all right when i've got my chest of drawers tomorrow then it's definitely definitely going up so i've started packing for tonight and put together like an outfit for the dinner this evening so i've got this kind of tigery print black dress and then i've also got a satin one which is basically the same but just plain satin or the printed one i've got the velvet blazer that i bought from zara the other weekend and it's really really nice that's really like classic and then i've got these knee-high boots which i'm thinking is going to be my evening outfit but i'm also going to put in some ankle boots just in case i change my mind on those and i'm also thinking to put like some leather shorts and a nice little like cami or something in as well just i don't really know what to wear tonight so basically i'm giving myself a few different all black options because all black is the best and i don't know what to wear but i need to quickly grab my case my room is such a mess i feel so bad it's always a mess in these videos but it's because i'm waiting for the chest of drawers still but yeah i'm gonna pack everything into here I've got perfumes on the floor because i need my chest of drawers back it's just stuff everywhere then you know it's christmas snow starts to fall then you know it's christmas for the children above all then you know it's christmas i'm all packed up i'm ready to go i'm just gonna do a little bit more mascara and put on some lipstick and stuff after i've brushed my teeth and then i am ready to go this is feeling really strange i'm not used to wearing like roll necks and stuff as much and i feel like it's really like intense on my neck but I don't know, I like it. So I'm just wearing this, which I did pick up from New Look yesterday. Um, it's just a really nice oversized giant jumper. I actually bought a large just so it was even more oversized because I quite liked the like oversized snug fit. And then I've got these leather leggings from Misguided, which I love. And then I'm gonna wear my big fur coat from New Look as well. And also some heeled boots, which I'm in two minds about whether to wear the heeled boots or whether to just wear my knee highs and then like wear my knee highs both days. So I wanna wear them for dinner as well, but I'm not sure yet, we'll see. We'll stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The joyful times we witness Forever stays with us Soon Rudolph fears his whistle And gathers all his friends When Santa and his missus Okay, we're just running down for dinner, so I'm gonna do a quick iPhone vlog because my phone and stuff is in my camera, my phone, I don't know what I'm talking about, is in my bag, but I'm just wearing this. So I've got my leather shorts on, I've got this little bodysuit from New Look, and then I've just got my knee-high boots on and then a velvet blazer, which I think is too much texture, but Sam said it's not, so we're gonna go with it. So we're just taking some photos and Jamie's hidden in the cupboard getting her outfit out. <laughs> So, look, swing, we did just fall out of the swing. Yeah, it wasn't on. <laughs> I said to Robin, let's both sit back at the same time, and as we did it, the swing just went. I just went. her. It was a bad mistake. <laughs> you know it's time for Christmas for each and every
it's 11 o'clock I'm really sleepy so I'm gonna get into bed and watch a bit of Drag Race or something along those lines and I have this gigantic cozy bed all to myself which is a dream when you live with a partner you share a bed all the time so it's nice sometimes to just be able to spread out especially in like a nice big cozy hotel bed so very excited for that I've got my little glass of water because I feel like I've had a lot of Prosecco and stuff tonight and not really had any water so I'm making the most of having some water oh this lighting's good um, I look really shiny because I put all my lotions and stuff on. I'm about to jump into bed, so I'm going to end the vlog here, and I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I'm sorry it wasn't, like, the most amazing vlog ever. I'm going to talk you through, like, the Philips products and stuff that were in the room in the morning. Um, actually, I'm going to quickly talk you through the room and give you a little room tour because I haven't shown it yet, and I think you guys would like to see a room tour. So this is the Curtain Hotel in Shoreditch, and it's really, really fancy, but this is what it looks like. So... So over here on the left when you first walk in is a little bar cart. So you've got like some little gins and like various bits and pieces. You've also got this which tells you how to make a dry gin martini. And it also tells you all like the mini bar prices and stuff. And, and like little extras and blah de blah. So that's all on there. Then you've got a wardrobe here. You've obviously got the mini bar fridge. And then on this side you have the bathroom which is in a really cool double door which I love. And then this is the bathroom. So it's gorgeous. Like it's got this really amazing tile, which I absolutely love. Like I think if I had my own house, this is the kind of tiling situation I'd go for. Then they've got this really cute big mirror. And then obviously, as you can see in the mirror, there is the shower behind me, which looks like this. And they've actually got my favorite. So they've got the um, Penhaligon's scents here. And this is the Halfetti which smells amazing and it's in a lot of hotels actually it smells gorgeous so i'm gonna cover myself in that tomorrow before i leave definitely gonna use a shower down and stuff too so i smell really good when i leave then back out here this is the bedroom which is slightly messy because also i've unpacked all my suitcase and stuff on there but you've got these two little chairs here with the desk in the middle which i think is really cool because it's kind of like a broken chest field which is cool and then this is the bed so you've got the giant bed here with the cool artwork above and you've got this really like rustic style dresses and the wall and the nice wooden art piece and stuff really love it this is a full window mirror this is a full wall window which is cool and then this is products from the Philips range with a vase of flowers which I'm going to ask if I can take the flowers home obviously not the vase I don't think I can take that but I'm going to see if I can take the flowers because they're really beautiful but Philips have kindly gifted us all with some of their products so I want to quickly show you what I've got so first up is this which is the Lumia which is an IPL and basically this is like an at home laser hair removal technology and it's so good apparently it's like the most amazing thing ever everyone I know who has tried this has said it's really really good so I'm very excited to give it a go and apparently in three uses it removes up to 92% of hair which is really cool and you use it every two weeks so I reckon it's going to be quite a good one and it's also got different heads for like your underarm and bikini and your face as well as like your full body so you can use it on various areas so like upper lip or whatever it might be that you want to get rid of hair um i've also got the steamer here which you guys know i am a solid steamer lover so i've actually already got this one and i think i might give this one to my mum because she really loves these kind of things and she always says about things that i get that she really wants so i think the steam and go might go to her because i do already own it but i can vouch for the fact that this is a solid amazing product i take this on every travel with me if i'm going away for more than one night like if i'm going like obviously not down the road like I've only come today for one evening but normally I would have this with me packed then down here we just have this which is the diamond clean toothbrush in the rose gold edition really really cute definitely a bit of copper on here the packaging and stuff of this is really cool I also really like the stand I think it's just a really classic cool looking stand and electric toothbrushes are a solid winner in my book so this is going to get a lot of use I already know and then over here, there is just a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I'm not sure what shade this is in. I will try and find out. Okay, this is in Penelope Pink. So if anyone knows what that colour is, that's what that is. I'll put it on in the morning. Then we've got the itinerary here. And then in here is just a really cute little pair of PJs with a really adorable little eye mask that match as well. So really loving that. And I just want to say a quick thank you to Phillips and Jamie and Mona for inviting me because it's been such an amazing night. All of the girls are absolute diamonds. I really love all of them. Everyone's so lovely. I've actually met nearly everyone before, I think, and I get on really well with them all. So it was really nice to just catch up and have a chat and just talk about girly things for a change and just have a really yummy dinner and some cocktails and just chat because chatting is what I do best. But yeah, thank you very much to Phillips and to the girls for inviting me. And hopefully I get to see them all again and work with Phillips again in the future because they're a brand that I really, really love and genuinely love. Like I've never done any paid work with them, but I really, really, really love the brand. So I'm going to go to bed now, like I said about 10 minutes ago, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. 
Okay, I forgot to do the advent calendars again, so we're going to quickly do it on the end as a one take because that's the easiest way to do this. Um, this advent calendar is now <laughs> completely in two parts, which is fabulous because it means I don't actually know what I'm doing. But I'm going to start with this one, which is the L'Occitane one. I'll be honest, it probably stays together if you open it like a normal human being, but I definitely did not. If you go back to Vlogmas Day 1, you'll see how terribly I opened that advent calendar. Um, but this is day four, which is cream PA... PA? PA which is dry skin foot cream, which would have been super handy last night because I wore open back heels and probably, yeah, probably should have had this. But um, that's really good to have and I actually definitely am going to be putting that on in a minute with my slippers on. Um, then next up we have the Bare Minerals one, which I put in this sleeve and I don't really know why I do it. I'm just going to leave the sleeve off. <laughs> I'm just going to leave the sleeve off because it's a bit pointless. But this is the next one, which is... Where's day four? Here. Oh my god, it actually won't come out. Okay, here we go. So day four is a vital power fusion skin longevity. What is this? After cleansing, apply two pumps all over face and neck. Use morning and night. So I'm thinking it's like a serum, which is really handy. There, um, bare minerals. <laughs> The Bare Minerals Skin Longevity range is actually really good, so I recommend having a little look if you haven't already. And then let's go in with this one. I've just accidentally poked that all the way through. Whoopsie. Um, where's four? Here we go. So this is day four, which is called Sugar Daddy. Love that. Want a real one? This is not a real one. This is just a nail one. -ish. I'm actually joking. I really don't want a sugar daddy. But that's a really gorgeous colour. I actually love that. I'm a sucker for like more nudie shades. Um, and I don't tend to venture too far out. So that's a really good colour for me. Um, love it. That's basically me opening the oven colours. Also, <laughs> you're probably wondering why I always push them back into the doors. It's because I film my Instagram stories of them after I do this. So it makes sense for me to have them in the door. So that I can film it like... But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and tomorrow's is already hilarious. I'm editing it and I'm absolutely dying at how funny that it's, it is. Obviously I'm filming these slightly out of sync so what you're seeing is actually like two or three weeks before. Actually no, it's not even two or three weeks before. It's maybe like about a week before you actually see them. So they're not all like consecutive in order. Um, but they will be from a couple of videos time. It's just because I wanted to get ahead and like film all the Christmassy stuff um, and put it in for you. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in my next one.